Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to look at how you can add headers and footers to your PowerPoint presentation. So first of all, there are two ways to get to headers and footers. One, I can go file, print, and down the bottom here, you've got edit header and footer, which bring this box up. Just come out of that. The other way is from the insert tab, header and footer, and you get the same box. And if you click on any of these options, the same box comes up because all these features are in this box. So let's have a look at what we can do. Now, on the first tab at the top, it says slide, and then you've got notes and handouts. So on the slide, you don't have a, an option to put a header as such. Um, so you've just got the footer option, but on the notes and handouts, you you have both. Now that, that doesn't mean you can't put a header on a slide because you can put things into the slide master if you want things to appear at the top of every slide, like a logo or things like that. But this is the preset stuff. So let's just tick a few options, date and time, automatically update, there's a language setting, or you could put a fixed date. Now, do you want a slide number? Yes. Do you want a footer? Yes. And I'll just put my name in there. So I'll just type my name. And it's got an option there to show on the title slide or not. Now, I'll just apply that to all. And you can see that at the bottom of the slide. And if I do a new slide, it's on the bottom of every slide because that's what we said to do. Now, if I go back in there and do that for the notes and handouts, same thing, date and time, everything else can stay the same. But I do want a header and I do want a footer. So the header is going to be, in fact, let's just put training. We love training and the footer can still be my name. And then when you apply it to all, so you get a little indication there where it's going to go. That's the slide master view. I click apply to all. You can't actually see that unless you go file print and there's a slide obviously that's not what we want to what we want to see so if you go into this option you've got notes pages which you can then look at and then you can see your header and footer on the notes pages and it's on every page so i'm on page two so if i go on page one it's on page one as well so that's how you can add those things now, if you don't like the position of the header and footer, uh, well, the, the footer on the slide, what you have to do is go into View uh, Slide Master, and then you can you can move these boxes because these are just text boxes, or you can color them in. You can do what you want with them in, um, as long as you have them on there. Because if you delete them, then obviously the header and footer won't show. Now, I'm on the Slide Master for this outlined list, so bullet list. If I go to the top one, that then will apply whatever you do with the header and footer, with a footer, should I say, that will apply to every slide, the location to every slide. Um, if you make the font, change the font, change the color and stuff like that. And this is where I've put this logo. So I've inserted my logo onto this top master slide and it's cascaded through all the, all the rest. So even though there isn't an option in PowerPoint to put a header on a slide. You can do it yourself as long as you don't go over the top of these boxes because these are the default layout boxes for each of the slide type. And basically you wouldn't want to damage these or type over these or put something over these. Otherwise it restricts um, what you can type. And you also don't want really to delete all these off. These are not for, I see some people typing things in here. That's not the idea. The idea is this is what the font would look like if you did an indent um, down to this fifth level. So it's not for you to put text in there. It's just for you to um, maybe change the font level if you didn't want that or delete some of these levels if you didn't want all of the levels. So I'll just close that off. And we're back to our slide. So that's just a very quick look at how to add headers to notes pages and footers to slides. So hopefully that was of use to you and thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.